What's up, y'all? I'm B. Dougie, and I've got a feature for you to check out. Uh, if you didn't know, you can actually go to GitHub uh, on the YouTube and follow this playlist. So definitely head over there, hit Save Playlist, as well as check out some other content on the GitHub YouTube channel. So these videos are a place for you to find out about the new features on GitHub and also hear from the people who put them together. And I've got Mike McDonald, aka Asky Mike, here to talk about a new feature with Dependabot. Mike, take it away. Big news recently, Dependabot is fully built into GitHub and generally available. So you can get all of your security updates and your version updates, all of that package management and package management updating goodness directly in GitHub. You don't need to install a third-party app, which is what Dependabot Preview was. And so I'm here to talk to you about getting off of Preview and into that fully native GitHub experience, as well as some of the features that we added to, uh, to GitHub native Dependabot to make that happen. So let's imagine that you have a repository that is still on Dependabot Preview. So I have my Dependabot GitHub checkout repo. You'll notice that we have a Dependabot config YAML. So version one, and it is just saying, hey, keep my JavaScript dependencies located at the root repo live. And we have a simple package JSON that all it's doing is pull in Lodash but it is on the old version of Dependabot. So Dependabot Preview had this UI, you can check out, hey, we have the Dependabot GitHub checkout repo, it has a package JSON, we checked it a little while ago, and you'll notice there's this really nice little button over here that says update config file. And you can click this button, as I am about to do, and it's going to magically update you to the latest version of Dependabot, that version of Dependabot that is built into GitHub really, really close to your source code. So I can click create pull request and boom, it is creating a pull request. Back over in our repo, we can update. I just refresh the page and wow, it is already there. We already have a pull request that says, hey, from preview, you know, as my last act as the Dependabot preview bot, I am going to migrate you over to Dependabot Native GitHub. So I have a PR, I'm gonna just merge this in. Well, we can actually take a look quickly before I do at what changed. And one last thing, just for verification, it's version two. Version two is the GitHub Native Dependabot version of the Dependabot config. So we'll merge this pull request. And now we want to go and check out Dependabot to make sure that it's actually running. So here we are in the Dependabot view of GitHub. So it was Insights, Dependency Graph, Dependabot, and we're checking for the update to Lodash. So the Dependabot run just ran, as you can see, finished 10 seconds ago, and we can take a look at the logs and see what happened. That's awesome. Uh, and it seems pretty straightforward as well. Uh, but I'm curious, what about if you wanted to host your own private packages? Yeah, that's an awesome question. So um, first of all, you saw how easy and automated that PR was. If you're already using you know, GitHub packages or Artifactory or whatever you were on preview, we will automatically migrate that over. Um, and so in that pull request, you noticed, hey, these are some secrets. We have actually already been using private registries and that was just a nice little alert to say, hey, you're using private registries, you should pull whatever your credentials over. If you're not doing that, this is actually a feature that we just added to GitHub native Dependabot and it's private registry support. So I can walk us through how to set that up. I can go to my Dependabot YAML and what I wanna do is I want to very quickly add a registries config. And I'm gonna do a little bit of copy paste magic, but what if we wanted to add a registry to support, for instance, GitHub packages. So I'm gonna call it GitHub NPM. It's an NPM registry. It's hosted on npm package github.com. And the last important thing is we wanna add a token. And so Dependabot added the ability to store some secrets. And I'm going to create a secret called my GitHub personal access token. And then I've created my registry. This is where I'm gonna actually fetch the packages from. I'm gonna update 
my update job to actually use that package. Let's actually do the second part. So now that I can fetch private packages, let's imagine that I now have a dependency that we're gonna call my super secret inner source dependency. And I will just copy that directly over. And if we actually look at this and we have a package hosted on GitHub packages. Be testing inner source two, we'll put it at version 1.0.6, adding inner source dependency. We're gonna commit that. And then the last thing that we have to do is I actually have to provide Dependabot with that token. Without that, if we went over to our insights tab and checked the run, the run will have failed. I'm gonna create a personal access token. So I called it my underscore GitHub underscore personal access token and Dependabot's gonna run. And we can look at those logs again and now we're gonna see both Lodash and our private inner source uh, dependency. We go over here, we have a pull request and here it is the new version of Dependabot. So Dependabot, native to GitHub, notice how it doesn't have Dependabot preview or anything. And it tells us everything that we need to know about updating from 106 to 107. I'll merge that. We have a package JSON that has been updated. It's got the latest version of our inner source dependency. And we go back version two. We have a private registry with one of my own GitHub personal access tokens and we are pulling NPM directly from it. Well, that concludes our conversation. So if you wanna learn more about GitHub and what's happening on our feature set, uh, stick around for the next video.